Hi guys, my name is Jeshu Mittal and today we will we will be creating a blogging website using Jackal. So if you have any you know, suggestions and uh, questions regarding the Jackal or creating a blogging website, you can uh, drop them in the comment section. So we will just uh, start creating a blogging website. So if you are not, uh, unaware of uh, Jackal, it is a static site generator. Um, uh, it is built in uh, Ruby. So we will start Jackal new and the name of the site we will just keep it. Uh, keep it new blog so we will keep the name of the site new blog It is, it is installing just a bunch of um, files and folder I think uh, everything is installed. It is still running the command. So, what do we have over here? We got the post in the markdown and the config file with the title, email, description, base URL. URL, Twitter URL, GitHub URL, Markdown theme. So uh, when we uh, you know run the command with the Jackal new and the name of the folder, it comes with a uh, pre-installed theme with the name uh, Minima. But you know uh, uh, since uh, we will be starting from scratch, so I will be uh, remove this theme and. Uh, remove all the uh, default configuration uh, since you know uh, I will just keep this uh, these settings but uh, I will you know remove this uh, theme uh, the default theme which is installed and uh, we will uh, create our own theme and let me just transfer all this file and delete this folder okay so if we do the if we do bundle install just to check that we are uh, up to date with all the gems ok so we are up to date and now we should be good to go if we run our server is bundle ex check server so over here we are running a server if 
and now we can access our website using this URL Here is our uh, website. Uh, it is a you know just a simple theme, and uh, if we can you know explore uh, the post. Uh, here is the post. Uh, if we you know go to our post directory and uh, open this file, you can see it is you know all the same content as you can see over here. And uh, if you have seen the directory, uh, a few bunch of uh, you know more files has been added like uh, this site folder and this SAS cache. So what happened when we you know uh, run our server, the jackal create you know few files. This is uh, just for you know local development, and this is the directory from which uh, our files are being served. Uh, those are the all same files. You know the uh, index, the home page. This is the you know post from where we are reading it. Uh, if you know, check the URL, uh, it is showing jackal update and the year, month, date, and the title. So it is the same pattern. If we check over here, it is jackal update, year, month, date, and the name of the post. So we can you know change this uh, the slug which we call over here. We can change it as we want. But you know uh, as we we uh, as we develop the website we can uh, do it later on and this is the asset folder this is the about section we can you know even go to the about page here is the about page and uh, as you can see this is the uh, base jackal theme you can find out more info about the customization of jackal theme as well as the basic jackal usage documentation at this url and this is the same content as we can see over here yeah as you can see over, over here this is the same content and uh, just a footer with a the title the email the uh, github username the uh, twitter uh, username and the description so if you have uh, till now have any questions you can you know drop them in the uh, in the chat and we will you know just start uh, creating the blogging website okay so first of all you know we need to remove the theme and we will just remove all the comments for now and this also and we can remove this also, this also. Okay, and what else? We need more than plugin feed. So regarding the plugin feed, uh, we know we will keep this uh, plugin since uh, it is you know just a basic plugin and uh, nothing fancy. We can you know uh, access our feed over here if you go to you know. For example, uh, the localhost and the port, and then uh, forward slash, then feed.xml. And here is the feed generated by the jackal. And uh, you know, we can share this uh, feed, or the users can, uh, or a reader can subscribe uh, using this feed. And uh, it is, uh, you know, the same content uh, as we have uh, read the blog post. If we uh, just let me open up another tab. Yeah, so over here it is written, you will find this post in your post directory. Go ahead and edit it and rebuild the site uh, to see your changes. You can rebuild the site in many different ways. And if we read over here, you can see it's the same exact. Uh, it is the exact same text, but it is you know uh, added with the uh, 
you can see the, these are the HTML tags and this is the same way it will be rendered if uh, any other person you know subscribe to the your blog post using this uh, XML feed so that's why it is shown in this way so that's why you know we will keep the feed plugin and what else we need uh, get ignore we need uh, just a 40 let me show you the 404 page also so it's a, just a simple uh, page not found error page nothing fancy so we will uh, customize this uh, page also and uh, create a uh, you know customized theme and even you know if you have few suggestions regarding the theme the layout and anything you want to suggest uh, we can implement that also even if you want to you know run the uh, open this uh, local uh, this website locally on your machine uh, i can you know share my uh, workspace link with you and you know you can uh, access the uh, uh, the local uh, you can access my server on your machine and uh, you know uh, you can suggest your changes also okay we don't need this also the jam file Complete all these comments. And another thing I want to mention that uh, I will be creating a GitHub uh, repository of this, and I'll be I will you know post the link of this uh, repository uh, in the in this video description. So currently I'm not you know uh, creating the repository uh, right now since you know these are all just uh, basic. Uh, changes and uh, so I'm not sure what should I write like uh, removing all the com comments and default themes so you know uh, I prefer to you know make some changes and uh, then I prefer to uh, initialize the repository and uh, make some comments so this is the post directory config so if I have since we have made some changes in the config file we have to restart our server Okay, so we are getting the error layout post request in the markdown file does not exist. The so layout default. Okay, so we are getting all this error because you know we have uh, removed the default theme. Uh, so uh, uh, earlier, what happened if you you know uh, check the Jekyll documentation and uh, they have uh, uh, excluded the uh, theme from the from the default. Uh, default uh, files you get when you initialize the jackal uh, uh, jackal uh, website and they have converted that uh, theme into a separate jam based theme and that's why we saw that you know the theme installed minima and since we have removed that theme and uh, we are getting this error because we are using the layout home and if we check uh, we are using layout pages and over here we are using layout page so uh, all these uh, layouts are being uh, pre-installed uh, with the jackal theme uh, the theme which we have uninstalled so you know we will create all these uh, layouts uh, just uh, in, ju in just a minute and we will start customizing it so for now i think okay so we got to get a blank page and if we you know check the console error if we have any okay so we don't have any console errors good okay so let's 
start with the layout package so that we can see some content on our you know website so we will start with layouts we will create a directory name with the uh, layouts and create a file so we will start with the you know um, home.html so basically whenever you know i create a uh, website using jackal so i most probably you know uh, create three to uh, four uh, uh, files uh, which i you know mostly use so for example uh, for this one uh, i create a uh, file name md in which uh, i just uh, add a html tag and uh, in the content uh, tag so uh, it is you know not uh, actually called content uh, i'm not sure what it is called you can you know check uh, the documentation in the in the there's a you know separate documentation for liquid tag and uh, i will just you know just post the link of the documentation in the chat so here's the link and uh, what does this means that you know we are uh, importing the content from wherever you know we use this uh, empty layout from that we are uh, importing the content to this uh, empty layout just i will explain you what does that mean if now we are using that layout in our home layout and we will name it as empty in what let me name it as default and create another layout with the name default html and then name it layout empty okay this makes sense and now since you know we have already uh, defined the html tag in our empty uh, layout so we don't have you know uh, define it again we can start directly from you know head tag the title we can write as uh, site dot title we are uh, using uh, a second it should be in double curly brackets and double curly brackets over here also okay so now the error is gone and uh, are we seeing any content now there are two more errors we got the default theme create a body tag uh, this is for what right hello world so this is a, just a basic text we are creating and now we need to create two more page, uh, page layout for post and page okay post dot ht oh, sorry post dot html uh, I don't think so. We need to use this. We need to. Uh, since this is the post. Okay, so let me just keep this blank for now. Page.html and we will use the default layout over here. Okay and we okay, so we, uh, are not getting any error now i think okay so we are getting hello world and uh, since uh, you know we have removed the default theme uh, and that's why we are just getting hello world text and we will add more text to it later on so uh, uh, you must have noticed that you know if uh, this uh, yeah so this is the text we have added hello world and and this is the index file and currently we have opened the index file and we are getting hello world so if i you know add over here also this is a home page and we will not get anything okay oh right, right. okay got it we need to add content over here and let me add something else. Mm. 
picture just break the line okay we are still not getting anything hmm, strange why we are not getting anything We are using the empty layout and layout home. Okay, we are using the layout home. Hmm. I see, so we should change this. Then why we are getting the hello world? If we are okay, we are using the default theme. We got it, got it, got it, got it. We are using uh, default. Then we don't need this over here. And this is a. We know we are not getting anything. Is the so okay we are getting you know uh, the title over here if we write a new uh, blog the name of our site we should get yeah so we are getting you know if we uh, set the source we are getting new blog as a uh, as the uh, the title this is the you know the title of the site as we are defining the config and this is the static content now uh, this is the home home layout okay i need to define the content over here also got it home layout and this is a home page of the we are good to see okay now it's working now we're getting home layout and this is a home page so we can even distinguish that uh, what content we're getting from here okay thirdly uh, since this you know this is the home page and we will uh, mostly work uh, because we have defined a separate uh, layout for home page uh, that's why we will uh, do most of the work in this uh, home layout file only and now we need to create a separate folder for our styles and we'll be uh, using a sas uh, for this project and create style dot you know okay, style dot says and then a separate uh, file for style to import our style sheets and we'll be importing import a second Okay, you know what? Let me uh, move to a CSS folder and now we can import it over here. And oh, sorry, mistake. Yes, it was. And now we can import the Style. Just uh, let me know change the name of the file so it will uh, I think create a conflict. Uh, what should I name the file? What should I name the file? You know, uh, let me uh, do the okay. Let me write design and we need this to design. Okay, so we are not getting uh, the error anymore. Okay, and 
and uh, I uh, now we have to uh, import the style sheet to our website and for that we need to create a include folder and inside that include folder we will create a file name meta so in this file uh, all the you know meta tags title uh, seo stuff all the stuff will be go over here and just for now we will uh, uh, import our style sheet oops no oh yeah correct ok so we are importing uh, css slash style dot css ok if we check the static folder we should be yeah we are getting uh, the output of the css file let me add some styles margin 0 padding 0 ok let me get to that file ok so we are getting the output as we expected ok so this is working now we should uh, import the meta file to our uh, where is the default ok now since we have created the meta file so we don't have to you know define this uh, type, uh, title tag over here and we can import the meta file include meta.html and this will be over here Okay, we are not getting any error. Something is not working again. Okay, so this is working. Okay, so we have removed the content. Okay. So what should we define? Okay, we need to create a header of we need to create a footer also and this should be start with a nav bar and this is a nav bar just uh, you know to test this whole thing footer. this is a footer now we can import both the things just a second we can define this in the default layout include and header dot html and then we can include the footer file also include footer dot html Okay, now we are good with this. So, if you guys, if you have any questions or recommendations uh, regarding what I what I have done till now, so please let me know. Or you know, if I am uh, moving a bit fast uh, or I'm moving a bit slow uh, tell me that also i don't you know don't want to bore uh, anyone uh, if you have if you already know we can uh, move a bit faster and yeah so we'll see how it all goes let me change the title also even if you have you know recommendations regarding the the title uh, if you have a better option for the for, of our uh, blogging website uh, please tell me that also and our email address the description this is our new blogging website we are creating using checker with our live stream 
viewers. <coughs> nice. This will no need URL. Okay, so I will. For now, I will just uh, add the URL of my GitHub account since uh, and the. Uh, I haven't created the uh, repository on the GitHub yet uh, because you know we need to uh, do some work on the basic work on the the, uh, the blog, uh, website and uh, we need also uh, a better name for her website also and the GitHub username the Twitter okay we are good with since we have changed the modified our config file we need to uh, restart our server just let me check the chat quickly if we have any messages okay till now we haven't any messages in the chat Uh, if you have uh, facing you know, uh, any uh, glitches or uh, problem with the live stream, uh, let me know. Uh, from my end, uh, I think I am getting a good uh, internet speed and uh, bit rate is also a bit okay, not 100% fine. Uh, the, you know, the line is uh, still uh, in the wave, um, it's not uh, constant. So let me know, you know if you are facing any uh, problem with the live stream. Okay. So did we see some content on the website? Okay, we are seeing now. This is a nav bar and this is a footer. So we got a uh, something on the screen and it's a small achievement. So this is good. And now I think uh, we should start uh, designing the nav and the footer. Okay, let's start that. I, I, uh, I will also, you know, break the style according to the content. And since uh, head and the footer is a component, and that's why we will create a, you know, separate folder for excuse me uh, i will create a separate folder for the components and header process uh, also i will convert this into let me say global uh, uh, base dot says if it makes sense yeah and now I can import global base and I can import component header and uh, I'll just create the footer also so I'm importing that also footer dot says okay footer and let me give a border of one pixel and color black okay. border top okay so for the header nav border bottom and since the uh, our nav bar will be at the top that's why we are uh, sticking the nav bar at the top so the position will be sticky um, it will be at the top left 0 right 0 and uh, we will be using uh, uh, flex box and grid because um, those are you know better way to organize the content instead of using uh, floats ok let's see how does it look Mm, something is not working. Mm, it is working over here. Let me check the style sheet. Okay, so we are seeing some content. 
for what is time said. Yeah, we are still seeing the styles. But the styles are not working. This is never bother bottom. Have I defined the styles properly? Bother that it is bother one pixel. It is not working as I expected. Not sure. Okay, so we will see uh, why this is not working. And since we already have a, a single post uh, with us, uh, in the meantime, we will add this post uh, on our home page. So, you know, we, I will just uh, leave all the styles for now. And if you have any suggestions regarding the styles, uh, how should we you know, organize our content and uh, all the design, I'm open to you if you have you know, any suggestions regarding the designs. Uh, I will just you know uh, uh, show the post on the home page, and then I will uh, make a comment and upload the repos upload the change uh, changes to the GitHub repository. And then uh, feel free to you know create an issue or create a pull request regarding the scene, and let me know if you have any suggestions. Okay, so this is a post. Uh, I need to go to the home page. Post. In the site or posts, I'm not sure if I'm uh, doing it correctly. I have to check the documentation, and then I have to do live. Uh, currently, I'm you know just uh, doing a simple list item thing, nothing fancy. Post dot title. So, what is the front matter? Then we have uh, date. Leave the date. Let me do this H1 and then the Content. Okay. Now we should see something on the page. Hmm. Something is not working. Try the double quotes. Okay, great. So now it's working, and we can see all the content. Now I think uh, we can. Hmm. Commit these changes to the repository and let me just initialize the repository. Uh, if you have any suggestion, uh, suggestions regarding the name uh, before you know I create a repository with this um, name new blog, uh, let me know. what let me uh, I got you know a better uh, name uh, regarding the uh, regarding the name of our website and we can name it bold just a <laughs> simple bold and now I will uh, change uh, rename the name of my folder and then I will initialize the repository uh, so uh, to rename the folder, I have to just close my uh, editor and the 
server I have to quit my server also so I'll just you know quickly rename the rename the folder also bold and let me open it Okay, so I rename the folder also now. Okay, now we can uh, initialize the Git repository. Git init. Okay, and let me run the server. We should see the initialized repository. It is not working. Hmm. But let me uh, move the commits via terminal only. So we got get status. Getting the work for the four page gem file gem log config includes layout post says about CSS index. Uh, you know what? Uh, for now, I because we are uh, we try to add the styles and it is not working. I suppose I don't know why. So we will uh, leave the styles over here. Uh, I will uh, not add the style styles for now. Uh, but I think mm. wait a second because uh, we are importing this file, so it might cause an error in the build. So I will remove this for now. And uh, so what I will do, I will only import the uh, uh, base file. And if I see the, uh, it should work as expected. Okay, so it's working. Okay, good. Now, uh, so I will now uh, commit these changes. We are getting the SAS file. Okay. First of all, I will just commit all, all uh, stage all uh, all the changes, and then uh, remove a uh, footer and the header. for uh, the layouts it is find except uh, this nav bar we need to change this one since we have no uh, updated our uh, repository with the cool name bold what's happening here so meta I will just remove that and this is this looks fine to me empty this is working page yeah the about page I almost forgot about that 
Okay, so what do we have about the about page? Okay, this looks simple to me. Right, um, let me add something over here also. The page. Now it should show okay. Now it is showing some content also. And why we are okay? So we are getting this also, but we are importing the style, so why it is not removing? Why it is removing? okay? We need to use the relative URL, I think. So uh, I'm not sure if you have uh, recognized the error. So what happened? Uh, if we go to our uh, URL, as you can see over here, uh, that we are uh, we we are getting the about uh, the name of the file, and then we are getting uh, we are uh, using the style sheet. So, what should actually happen that we should access the style sheet uh, from this URL, and that's why uh, we need to change it to uh, base URL. Uh, I'm not sure if that will work. Uh, I have to try. Relative. URL. Okay. Now let's see if it works. Okay, great. It works now. Okay. Good. So everything looks fine to me. And now I think we can uh, commit the changes. Here yeah, now we can commit why we are what for the tag. Okay, so now we can uh, commit these changes uh, and so today, uh, so this live stream will keep it short because this is why, uh, so it's already uh, 48 minutes uh, since I am streaming this, uh, this uh, live stream. So I will uh, just commit these changes and uh, create a GitHub repository. And then I will just uh, end the live stream and uh, we will continue this uh, session on uh, next Saturday at the same time. So the time I will try to start the live stream at uh, 11 p.m. Uh, according to Indian Standard Time. Um, I will just uh, I will keep the you know uh, the the commit message simple with the simple name uh, initial commit. We need to add the modified files also. <coughs> now I think uh, we should be good with the uh, git status command. Let me just uh, you know whenever I uh, try to commit anything, uh, I just run the git status command every time just to make sure that we are. Uh, committing the right files uh, sometimes uh, you know this uh, interface might not uh, might not work properly or it takes uh, for, uh, for me uh, I have faced this issue many times that it takes a lot of time to uh, fetch the changes and uh, show up over here so it's a you know good practice to uh, run this command oftenly and check that uh, what's the status of our git repository so I think we are good with the, the uh, with the changes, and now we can do a commit. Okay, we have commit the changes, and now I will create a uh, repository on the GitHub. ok 
so now let me create a new repository the name of the repository is bold okay so they have started giving us the suggestions also Kadi Octo Computing Machine okay and blogging jackal site since uh, we do not have the readme file i will uh, read uh, leave the readme file for now and i will add the license as mit so i am open to <laughs> creating i am uh, i am you know very fond of creating the projects with mit license so that you know other people can contribute back and uh, they should be feel uh, free to uh, use that the project uh, as they want because they have also you know put their effort in creating the project also we have already uh, created the get ignore file so we don't need that and we can now create the repository Okay, we have created the repository now. We need to okay. We need to uh, get app remote. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. What was the command? Not sure. Okay, so it was get remote at origin. Okay, now it's not if we do another command. Get remote. Okay, nice. So now we can fetch the changes. So I will just now push the changes to GitHub and within few seconds I can see all the files and commits uh, in the repository. Okay, what is this pull first to integrate the changes? Okay, git pull master to reach and Doesn't let me do it just get hmm. get pull remote. Okay, get pull region master. Now we should have a license. Yeah, we have a license file, and now we can do the git push command. What is this? Okay, got it. Now we have seen all the changes. Merge branch. Okay. Now uh, the repository is online, and uh, I'll just share the link in the chat. And uh, from the next uh, live stream, uh, this link will be available in the description of the video also. So that uh, you can um, contribute this uh, this repository. What is this? We are okay. So we are getting that message. Okay, correct.
and watch branch master ok we have merged that repository to the fine ok so so that's all I have got for this live stream and I will see you in next one and if you have any questions regarding the live stream uh, sorry regarding the this project you can tweet me uh, at my twitter handle I will share the link of my twitter handle also <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so it's uh, Mithal Yeshu 77 my twitter handle is Okay, and now we are good with everything. Fine, okay. Okay, guys, so that's all for this live stream, and I will see you in next one and uh, again just a quick reminder that i will do next live stream on next saturday uh, around 11 o'clock uh, 11 pm uh, at indian standard time and i will you know try to do a live stream um, at the same day at saturday and it is possible that someday i might miss a uh, live stream due to personal or some emergency work but i will uh, uh, try to do the live stream yeah and uh, okay so see you yeah see you bye bye